up gang I am back we're doing more of a little uh, daily vlog nothing uh, too mod like but I've got the second gen prelude in front of me and I'm obviously in the third gen David and I right now are gonna go up to this mountaintop spot where or it's a hill I think it's technically a hill it's not a mountain anyways there's a spot where there's like an old wagon or something and it's supposed to be really cool so we're gonna go up there try and get some shots of the two preludes together second generation and third generation just that way we can get them both together we tried to do it the other night and unfortunately it got too dark before we could really get a lot of footage so we're gonna try again now it's just about 4 45 and the sun's already going down so we've got maybe like 45 minutes to an hour to get some quality video make sure you go and subscribe to Dave's channel because he's gonna be throwing up his cinematics I'm sure yeah just stay tuned it's gonna be sick but this vlog's basically gonna be more like BTS behind the scenes type stuff so it should be fun you get to see some prelude second gen and third gen content we mobbing boys we mobbing if you guys are new to the channel welcome thank you I'm so happy you found us but uh, if you guys are new and haven't been caught up on the videos my buddy David just picked up a second gen prelude it's a 1986 Honda prelude SI fuel injection it's pretty dope it's only got like 88,000 86,000 miles on it or something it's pretty sick we're stoked on it between getting the two preludes together now for shows and everything it's just it's so fun it's so fun just mobbing around in two preludes. I, I like. I feel like I say it a lot, but it's it's a lot of fun. So make sure you go subscribe, show him some love, and make sure you hit the subscribe and bell notification on this channel so you never miss an upload. I am officially starting the manual transmission swap on my prelude. And again, if you're new, I have a 1988 Honda Prelude. It's a third gen. I'm officially starting the manual transmission swap. I have actually already located a donor car that has all the bits and parts to the manual trans still, including the ECU apparently. So I'm picking it up for the low. I'm really stoked. Uh, so stay tuned for that video But basically why I'm bringing this up is I have write-ups on how to do this But if you guys have any like knowledge on this swap doing a third gen uh, Manual or auto to trans Jeez uh, Louise if you guys have any experience doing a third gen auto to manual trans swap Let me know. I'd love to have your ear just to pick a little bit obviously if I have questions So that'd be sick or if you guys know any videos or like write-ups out there on the um, on the internet Jesus, I can't talk. Out there on the interweb or internet, make sure you post it down below, link me those so that way I have a little bit more to go off of. So I appreciate it. So excited to finally be able to shift gears in this thing manually. It's long overdue and I'm gonna love it so much. This spot was a bust. We got up there and there was a million cars and there was just nowhere for us to even get anywhere cinematic looking. So. We're gonna go to another spot, hopefully up the road, and it shouldn't be too bad, but these roads are horrendous. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go try and find another spot, but that would have been sick. You can see what I'm talking about. She's got a big old wagon at the top of the hill. Would have been nice. Spot number two is Lakeside. This looks more promising, okay. Oh, this will work just fine. We got a nice little cove here. Yes, it's gonna be good. Just got it all parked up. I think it's gonna look good. Uh, just had the prelude kind of sideways in the middle of the cul-de-sac and then Dave's just gonna kind of back in a little bit more angled there So that way we get it looking like he's not parked in a parking spot. and It looks a little bit more cinematic and stancy. So Thing is sick though guys. This is what I'm talking about Two preludes Nice sunset I just put you up on the gimbal. I'm gonna go ahead and get some gimbal shots of both the cars. So cue the cinematics. Right now we're just going over some of the drone footage. It looks so good. This thing, we just got an amazing shot, or David just got an amazing shot, hovering the drone about yay high and then coming up and over and then beyond those trees. So you'll see that, but guys, this is crazy. This spot right now is so nice. Just got back in the loop. Gonna go over this bridge down yonder and uh, Dave's gonna try and fly the drone. I think like simultaneously or right next to me while I'm going on the bridge. So we're gonna go try that before the drone dies and hopefully we can get a good shot. I think this will be sick. It's a good idea. I didn't even think of possibly getting some rollers with the drone, so here we go. So we have no communication right now between me and Dave, no walkies or anything, so I'm not really sure 
I'm gonna let him try and get set up first before I start whipping on this road. Cause I think we're only gonna get like one shot of this. Otherwise, oh, I got a leaf. Um, and then we're gonna have to like double back and make a big loop. So hopefully we can get this in one take. Well, it's going down right now. Hopefully the drone is somewhere. I can't see it anywhere, but it's going down right now. Hopefully it can keep up. I'm doing like 28, 30 miles an hour or something like that. So I'm just gonna go up here and make a turnaround and then we'll hopefully go see what the footage looks like. Yeah, this is the bridge we just came over. I was trying to see if he has got the drone up somewhere following me back, but I don't see it. So I'm not sure, but yeah, this is a dope spot. Sweet bridge, sunset going down. It's perfect timing. It doesn't get much better than that. And we're back. I think I'm gonna try and get a little bit more footage for the cinematic stuff. So I think maybe when I said earlier that I was gonna throw it in, maybe I'll just throw it in at the end. I'm not sure yet. Maybe it'll make you wait. But uh, looks like Dave's coming back with the drone now. So I guess we can maybe see what that looks like. Hopefully it came out sick because I don't wanna go do it again. Started going, the freaking road was all the way open. I know, that's why I was trying to get it like at that moment. This is like right here. It's pretty far away, but uh... To kind of give it the different feel, different vibe throughout the video, I'm gonna go ahead and just break off the gimbal and do some handheld stuff just to kind of give it... I want a little bit of that shakiness to give it that effect, especially with 280s cars, it's supposed to be kind of vintage, so... Uh, always good to like change up your gear, change up your camera, lenses, all that stuff if you can. I understand that stuff gets expensive, so here I am just taking the exact same camera, same lens, taking it off the gimbal, getting a whole different look from footage. So I typically film my videos to aim for like Instagram Instagram length which is one minute so try not to get it you know too involved but just enough to give you a good taste of the vibe the session the shoot and all that stuff so um, I just got what I needed and I got to take a thumbnail and always a good idea if you guys are photographers yourselves car photography take some uh, photos for your Instagram just get it out of the way while you're shooting the car don't forget to take your photos and that way you have stuff for like weeks but um, another tip if you are on Instagram shoot in portrait style not landscape so switch it so it's long and that way you take up more landscape on the, which is awkward, I said don't use landscape, but you get what I'm saying. You take up more landscape on the Instagram page with a taller photo, so shoot your photos in portrait mode. He taught me that. More real estate, more, uh, <laughs> more area to view your pictures and content, and that's what people love. Yeah, more real estate, more landscape. Another thing I didn't really cover too much on because it was the same video we were picking up Dave's Prelude, so I didn't get to cover a whole lot on this spoiler, but I did, if you missed the video, put on a Peugeot spoiler onto the third gen Prelude just because it literally fits perfect. Goes to the edge of both trunk lines, sits just a hair taller than the OEM spoiler for this car, and I think it just gives it a whole different dimension it looks so much better. It looks like it uh, went from like Stancy riced out grocery getter to like maybe now it could be some rare JDM car. But like I was saying, super psyched to be starting on the manual transmission swap. Right now I'm trying to, like I said, I've got the car. I need to find a place to put it. And then I need to get as much information as I possibly can before I go and like rip my automatic trans that works totally fine out of the Prelude and try to put a new one in. So if you guys have any ideas, if you've done this, if you have any like good forums, any good videos out there that you've seen that cover a lot of this stuff, let me know. Put it down in the comments. It would be a huge help and just make me a little bit more confident going into this install. So. Um, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today though guys, it was a short one. Um, I might have some more cinematics here at the end, I'm not sure where I'm at, this video is kind of all over the place, but make sure you go again, subscribe to Dave's channel, he's going to get, a, I'm sure, a fire video up from the shoot, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep elevating, peace out. Baby, work it, baby. Give me that prelude. Mmm. She going hard right now. Woo.